What's good and what up? It's your brother Sam and hear it viral. Hip hop news. Do me a favor, family, before we get started with the content. Y'all know what to do. Go up top and hit that like button. All right, so Jay Prince, Houston OG, out and about on a book tour right now, promoting his new upcoming book, The Art and Science of Respect. Can't wait for mine to come and definitely pre order that. He was on Sway this morning to drop a few bars, and the Drake Pusha T beef conversation definitely came about. He had this to say about where his boy Drake is right now. He's definitely happy, you know. We know that it was the right decision because it was a decision where they crossed a line where music was concerned, and we don't have any regrets about living in peace. He later explained how Drake felt about the naysayers and those that have might question him getting into the pig pen, quote unquote, so Jay Prince says. Drake is wise enough and sharp enough to know who he is, you know what I mean? He knows his abilities, he knows what he can do, and he's willing to live with the decision he made not getting into the pig pen. Now, Pusha T, while he was on promotion with Kanye West promoting the Nas album, the Tiana Taylor album, he was asked by Big Boy, is the Drake beef over? And Pusha T said it's basically over. He threw it under the rug. It was what it was. He got what he needed out of it. Now he's promoting Daytona. Dope album of the summer. Definitely one of the best ones out here right now. And he did what he was supposed to do with Drake. Now he also alluded to if he felt as though Drake had something in the barrel for Pusha T. He didn't know why they would keep it tucked and try to save Pusha T's career. He felt as though it would have came out. So you kind of know what Pusha T feels about it. I personally think Drake may have had something, but Drake knew after time after time of just getting his ass whipped that it wasn't nothing that he could do. And this was getting a little too personal. And it was out of the bars. It was out of rap. And he was just getting, let's keep it 100, a little too sensitive. Now, that being said, you have Scorpion. His latest album coming out at the end of June, you heard academics, you heard various people say that he will address certain situations in regard to Pusha T, maybe Kanye. We don't know if this will be subliminally or he'll drop names. Needless to say, it's great promotion for his album, set the drop in June. Y'all let me know in the comment section, are you looking forward to that album? Are you waiting for the Drake album? I'm personally not. It's so much great bodies of work out here right now, so much great music. You got Nas that just dropped, you have Pusha T like I just alluded to, you got... um. J-Rock's album that just came out, The Book of Ryan with our man Voice to 5'9". Westside Gunna just dropped a real savage album for all my real hardcore hip-hop heads out here. Make sure you check that joint out. Got Chris Benoit with the Third Eye Across Savage album. Y'all leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. I really won't be checking for Drake probably until about October, but that's just me with such a dope array of hip-hop going on this summer. But y'all let me know in the comment section right now. Also, in the description box, you'll see links to our Twitter homepage. Brand new IG and a brand new website, the Uncensored Truth Podcast.com with my brother Oh God over at Hip Hop News Uncensored. The official YouTube channel is also in the description box, the Uncensored Truth Podcast. Make sure you stay tuned for all the latest doses of information of hip hop that we're dropping over there on the daily. Appreciate all y'all over there. Always trying to keep it raw, real, and cut here about hip hop news. Until next time, until next story, I sincerely appreciate each and every one of y'all. Subscribe to the movement, hit that like button, and I'm out. Peace.